Hi guys, it's Amber and I'm back with another video. So I decided to make some artist training, trading coins for the first time and they are actually a lot of fun to make. I'm using my Canson mixed media watercolor and I wasn't sure which size I was going to make them because I guess the traditional coins are two and a half and the bigger sizes are three and I'm actually... Um, I'm actually going to shove these ATC, um, these ATC coins in a page protector. So I just punched both of them out just to see which ones were going to fit better in the page protectors. Um, so I was just showing you that in the beginning. And so there's, I'm for, for like Halloween, I'm definitely more of a spooky person. Like whether, it, like if it's spooky or cute, like if I had to choose one for Halloween, personally, I love spooky. I'd rather go with spooky. But I absolutely love Hocus Pocus so much. And I bought this, um, which is a Kendrick stamp, Hocus Pocus. I think it's actually called Witch Sisters. Um, I bought it and I had to make ATCs with them. So, and I decided to, um, I absolutely have been loving watercoloring and then using color pencils on top of my images. And that's basically what I did here. I didn't show you the coloring because honestly guys, I'm not an expert colorist. I just leave that to the professionals <laughs> when it comes to like tutorials or anything like that. So I just kind of showed you the very, very glimpse of what I was doing and then just cut, it, cut the rest of it out. And yeah, so I just decided to do, um, yeah, so the Hocus Pocus is, the theme of the ATCs and I use my distress inks just because it was less messy because I was thinking about taking out my paints because I haven't played with my paints in a really long time like my acrylic paints paints but I just did not want to pick up the mess after that because you know crafting makes a big mess sometimes no matter how clean you are it just does so I decided to stick with just my distress inks which I absolutely love playing with them I've, I've, I've actually been playing around with them for a while now um they were kind of neglected there but they've been re resurrected and I love them so much so yeah so I'm just going to be basically making the backgrounds for the witch sisters um, images to go on top of it So after just distressing all three of the coins, I can move on to actually customize, customizing them. So if you guessed it, um, Sarah, the Sarah, Sarah Sanderson, I decided to make the background of the spider because if you remember, she likes to eat the spiders. So which is why to me automatically she gets the spider web background. And because also when I think of this witch sister, I always think a muck, a muck, a muck when she's like dancing around saying that. Which is why I decided to do three amucks because I don't know I can't just say one. Is, is it just me? I I can't say one amuck. Like it has to be the three, and I had to think of her dancing around for some reason. So that's where I got the idea for this coin. for this one so this is for uh winifred sanderson to me she's the head queen obvious or the head witch obviously and to me she automatically i, I automatically think of her spell book when I mean, she's like book you know so which is why her back her backdrop is going to be like the the text font and i just um and i if you kind of realize i'm kind of color coordinating with their dresses too with their witch gowns so for me winifred is definitely the green background and sarah was the purplish background so that's basically what my idea is for winifred is her book background and oh my gosh i had a lot of ideas for winifred and honesty because she's just you know 
know she's just an amazing person <laughs> she's just such a strong character so i was going to put you know like it's just a bunch of hocus pocus or i put a spell on you because i think of her when i think of that too but i also think of her resting witch face which to me like i was like okay i think i'm gonna go with her witch resting witch face because there's so many memes about it and it's freaking hilarious you know like the another glorious morning makes me sick like oh guys you guys i just love hocus pocus so much so i decided to go with the witch the resting witch face because i feel like she's the queen of that so um which is where, yeah basically why i had to go with this um quote for her her for her coin and i'm also just kind of so after i kind of finalize the little sayings or whatever i go in with those gems right there on the top they're really cool i really love them they're like shimmery shiny um and that's pretty much they're pretty much all going to be like the same they have their images and then they're going to have like a saint and then some embellishments and they were just a lot of fun to make So for my last coin, my thought process behind it is I picked, I decided to pick the music notes on there was because if you remember, they sing, come sisters, we sing and they sing and that's how they, that's how they're able to do the curse in the first place. And then they also sing to draw in the children to them. So that's kind of what was my thought process was there and why I picked the music notes. Um, and with who's, I forget the sister's name. Oh my gosh, I just remembered it and then I forgot it. Um, oh my god, Mary, Mary, yes, that's her name, okay, sorry, Mary, Sarah, Sarah, uh, Sarah, and Winnie, so Mary, I, I decided to do, like I said, the music background, because music does play a big role with the Sanderson sisters, in my opinion, and, um, I decided to put on her graveyard scene, because the graveyard also is a huge scene in the movie, because, you know, they can't touch holy, like, they can't touch the ground, that's also where they eventually perish, I guess, kind of if you can die if if they're allowed to die <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much what my thought process is i really wanted to make a graveyard scene and the music i thought it was um fitting for this but yes so those are these are going to be my three atcs my first ones that i've ever made and they were so much fun to make you guys i had a blast making them just and they're super quick like all of these honestly took me like probably okay the coloring always takes me the longest because i just i just suck at it like i'm just not a good colorist and so i kind of dread coloring them up because i want to do them justice but so if i didn't color them yeah if i don't include the coloring they probably took me probably all three of them like an hour because i just kind of like whip them all together and i love this um which is which is our sticker book for michael's i like love it so much i decided to add some bats on there because i needed a little bit extra sprucing up it was just a little bit too um, planned and I also got a little skull sticker and put it on the tombstone as well and I'm just using a stamp from the sassy club and I just curved it because thankfully it's a photopolymer stamp and you're able you know you can kind of uh, manipulate it to kind of fit certain angles so I decided to curve and I really thought it and I also decided to heat emboss um, I don't really emboss that often but um, for this one I really thought it needed it because I didn't think it was going to stand out if I was just to stamp out with white um, like with a white pigment ink I, ink I didn't think it was going to stand out that much and the embossing um, really makes it stand out a lot and thankfully I have a new heat gun oh my gosh I had the I had a ranger heat gun and oh my gosh embossing was miserable like it would literally take me five minutes to emboss the piece of paper and that's why I feel like that's why I didn't emboss that often because it was just like what it's taking so long but with my new embossing gun oh my gosh it literally took me like 20 30 seconds for it to like after you you know you had to let it heat up just for like a little bit like 10 15 seconds and then heat emboss it it literally took it like it like 30 seconds to emboss it so that i feel like i'm gonna start embossing more just because of my new heat gun <laughs> But yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed my um, video um, and watching me make these um, fun ATC cards. I just, I love them. And when I put them all together, they just make me really happy. And, um, so yeah, so let me know which card was your favorite. Was it Sarah, Mary's, or Winnie's? I'm definitely curious. Take a poll. <laughs> um, yeah, and thanks for watching, you guys. You have a good one. Bye.